<clears throat> All right, friends, tonight on the table I've got an old exhaust fan. But there uh, should be some good copper in here. Let's dig into this thing. Let's see what we got. These are pretty simple anyway, not a lot to them. We'll take this back cover off. There we go, a little tin cover or whatever. I try to save all the wire I can. There's a good wire nut. I'll save that. Nice and clean. Yeah. No sense in throwing that away. Alright, there's some wire there. That is, um, what gauge is this? This is, I need my glasses on. 12. It's 12 gauge, uh, number 12 wire. Let's see what we do with that. That's my ground wire. Alright. Saving my screws. I think I talked about that before. I think a lot of I think a lot of scrappers save their screws, and you should. You should keep up with them. That's money too. You might have a use for them. Alright. Pop out. There we go. All right, a little bit of hammer time. Give this thing a little tap. It's not coming right off right away. It looks like it has a set screw. All right, I got that Allen Allen key out of there. So, I'm not sure how easy this motor is going to come out. It is newer. But, let's see, we'll give it a little tap here. Okay, sorry I cut that part out. I kind of hung it over the edge of the table like this and beat on it with a punch. So that part came off. Now I don't know if this is aluminum right here. It kind of feels like it. Oh yeah. That's cast aluminum. I get these fan blades off. It'll be a good solid hub of cast right there. That'll be shred. Unless I find a purpose for it. Alright, my little cast aluminum cap came off. Let's see if we can clean it up. I like to be a little more organized than what I am. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice one. I'll be on the blooper reel. Well, that's just plastic. Trash. I can get this little metal cap out. We'll have a clean piece of cast. I'm not that easy of a hitter. Let me get it over the edge of the table because I don't have a vise. Unprepared. There we go. Clean piece of cast aluminum. here because when it hit the floor it kind of came apart for me there's our uh, irony aluminum armature stator or whatever that is got a bearing to knock off I will get this other cast aluminum cap because I like to get everything I know some of you are probably more volume oriented you're gonna be like ah hey, you're wasting your time man just move on I mean, I don't mind it. I, I enjoy this. I don't want to sound like a broken record every time I'm out here saying I enjoy it, I enjoy it, because I really do, but uh, I'm not in a hurry. I don't care if I sell anything for a while. All I want to do is collect. And when the prices get insane, be able to cash in. Let me see. There we go. 
Now I'll knock this center piece of tin out of there and that will be a clean piece of cast. I'll set it right back on top here. Let me see if y'all, I'm in the shot here, I'm sorry. Tripod still broke. Gotta get a new one. This is a old chisel, so don't beat me up about that. Another clean piece of cast. And there we go, friends. There's our, let's see, wait a minute. Not just yet there. Let's take the file and see if this is copper. Oh yeah, beautiful copper. Now let me get ahead of myself. I need to get the capacitor out of here. I don't want to get shocked from that thing. Now this thing here hasn't had power on it in several years. Probably three or four, but still. Not taking any chances. There we go. There we go, friends. The capacitor. I'll hang on to that, put it with the other one. Here we go, we've got a metal end, steel end. Now let's have a look here, friends, about the best way to get this out. Let me go ahead and cut this excess wire sticking up here. More wire. Save my wire. I'm going to pause you and split this casing. That way it saves your ears. If you're wearing earbuds, I won't blow your ears out. I'll be right back. All right. We're back. Casing has been split. There we go. And that was a Dayton. One-eighth horsepower. And here we go. We got our copper. Cut these strings off of it. Now, I know some people take and cut one whole side and pull it out. But uh, this looks like, uh, I think I'm just going to snip these and save my cutoff wheel. So let me cut all this string off of here and I'll come right back. All right, I got all the strings cut off of there. So what I started doing is just snipping these and folding them up where I can start pulling them through the back. That's probably the the longest way to do it. Most time consuming probably, but I don't have a lot going on this evening, so. But uh, I don't know if you watched my last video, you probably like why don't you just go to the wood splitter and split that thing in half like you done the other one. Well, it started raining a little bit, so I just didn't bother going out there. I could probably still do that, but I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to do it like this. Just, I done started, so might as well finish it. But once you start getting these pulled out here, it kind of starts loosening up the rest of them. There we go. There's our first bit of copper pulled out. So I'll put that... Put it in my jug here. And I'm not going to make you watch me pull every single bit out. I'm just going to show a little bit and then I'll cut camera and I'll get the rest of it out and we'll weigh it and see what we got. Now this is probably not a very exciting video, but... I find myself watching a lot of people scrap things that I've already scrapped, even though I haven't shown it on my channel yet. I've got several videos I'm going to upload that I kind of shot before I started the Copper Eye Joe channel. So you filmed at least three or four videos before I picked the channel name and launched this channel. But uh, I went to a friend's house the other day. He gave me one of those uh, P-Tac heating and air unit things out of a uh, hotel room. I think that's the right way to say it, P-TAC. 
what's in your hotel rooms to heat and cool. So there ought to be some good some goodies in that thing. We'll probably scrap it on the next uh, video if I don't post some of those others I've already got. But uh, my way of thinking, if you're going to do YouTube, it's good to go ahead and... I mean, that's what I like about scrapping. It's so easy to make these videos. I mean, I come out here, there's not a lot of overhead involved. You get something to scrap, you get a table, set your camera up and start taking it apart. Try to be somewhat entertaining, which I'm probably not right now, but. All right, I finally got through that. Yeah, that way takes a little bit longer, but yeah, if you got the time, I guess it's okay. If you're in a hurry, you might as well get the side grinder out. Or go to the wood splitter like I did last time. Might get all these plastic pieces out of here, but there's our steel. And there's the copper that we got out of there. Not quite a jug full, about half of a gallon jug. I'm gonna press it down. I know if I could get this uh, rod out of the middle of it drove out, that would be uh, prepared steel. That's probably a half inch thick shaft. But let me know what you do with these. And uh, I still gotta get this fan here apart, so. Let's see, I might be able to do that on camera for you. There's one. There's two. Yeah, look at that. That old cast aluminum just said, hello, I'm here. Came right apart. Awesome. There's two more ends to go with that. And then these plastic fan blades, they just kind of fell out of there. Out of that sandwich between the two aluminum ends. I guess it'll go into trash. All my screws and nuts I will keep. All right, for a recap, here is the fan shroud that came off of it. I guess that goes into shred as well. So, uh, the capacitor cover, all the cast aluminum two end caps and the thing that sandwiched the blade propeller held it in place. That's a pretty good handful of cast aluminum. Steel, outer housing shred, more shred pieces and irony aluminum, I take it. Let me know. Okay, let's see how much copper we got out of here. I got me a better scale. I think it goes all the way up to 11 pounds. So I figured it would be good for the lighter weight stuff. So uh, the copper. Got 1.6 pounds. Not bad, I guess, for a 1 8 horsepower motor. Now the cast aluminum ends, I'll put them on here. One point seven five four pounds. And I believe what I have of the shred here, I think it's all there. One point five seven pounds of shred steel. Of course, what the windings were around, that weighs 2.1 pounds. And then we got this, friends. Uh, I'm going to pick up my vise this weekend. I'm going to try to drive this center out of this. I've seen people do that, and then I'll just have what I guess is irony aluminum. I'll just throw this into an irony aluminum container, because I got right many of these right here. Let me know in the comments if that's what you do with those. Put them in the irony aluminum. But uh, yeah, friends, that's about the gist of that blower there. I hope it was entertaining. Um, got this scale here at Harbor Freight today. Uh, let's see. I bought me another pair of snips too. Now I got these. I use these a lot for cutting wires, but you know what that's for. That's like the, your terminal ends and stuff and all that. 
this little Pittsburgh Harbor Freight. Now it is spring loaded. So uh, I haven't got to try it yet. I don't know how good it's going to be about snipping wires. But we'll see. I know probably like everybody else, I hold these like this with a finger left inside. Be a whole lot easier this way. Just Anyway, I'll let you know how those do. I think those were about $4 in total. Those snippers there. I mean, some of the tools are okay at Harbor Freight, and some of them, yeah. I like this angle grinder. I've had this thing about four years, and uh, I've had to tape the casing back together where it's tried to separate. I've replaced the stock cord with a cord out of a vacuum cleaner that went bad, a shop vac, so it's got a long cord on it. But, uh, yeah, this thing here is about shot. See that movement right there? I'll be scrapping this thing out on the channel before you know it. <laughs> anyway, friends, I will let you go with that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, feel free to check out my other channel, Sheffield Woodworks, where I have a bandsaw mill, a chainsaw mill. Uh, there's a porch swing build video on there and several other things. Just kind of documenting my journey with the sawmill and building the sawmill shed and all kinds of stuff like that. So if you're interested slightly in that kind of stuff, go check my channel out, Sheffield Woodworks. I will leave a link in the comments to take you straight there. But anyway, friends, I thank you for watching. I'm thankful for everyone who subscribed so far. Uh, the scrapping community seems to be a pretty nice group of people. Everybody's pretty respectful so far and very helpful, so I appreciate that. And I look forward to meeting more of you. Until next time, thank you for watching. Get out there and get to scrapping. I'll see you on the next one.